Good morning and welcome to our virtual 2020 fifth grade graduation. We thank you so much for joining us and watching this very special fifth grade event. Our fifth grade graduation looks very different this year, but our school year also looked different. Due to our school closures and the COVID-19 pandemic, some of the traditional awards that we usually give out, we're not giving out this year. Instead, we're gonna recognize our fifth graders by giving them a completion of fifth grade certificate. Every student will get one of those. And we will also recognize students who have participated in clubs and groups. At this time, I would like to recognize our fifth grade ambassadors. This is a special group of students. They started the year applying for this position and they served as my principal advisory board. They also helped me host our special visitors that came to Flowery Branch and they had lunch with me each month and kind of gave me the lay of the land at school with our fifth graders. Our fifth grade ambassadors for the 2019-2020 school year from Ms. Armand's class are Jake Ledford and Gabby LaPointe. From Ms. Black's class, Ridge Mesador and Katie Kelly. From Ms. Best's class, Talon Simpson and Angel Okiki. From Ms. Frazier's class, Sebastian De La Cruz and Emily Early. I appreciate their help and their service this year. At this time, I'm gonna turn our program over to Ms. Karen Hickey for our next set of awards. Hi, fifth grade. Um, the first group I'd like to recognize at this time are those who completed the Six Flags Reading Program. Congratulations to you all. And they are from Ms. Armand's class, Autumn Carden, Victoria Decker, Kamaya Butts, Cameron Jones, Tamar Monprier, Premier, I'm sorry, Riley Jaworski, Jake Ledford, Owen Anderson, and Olivia Peters. From Miss Best Class, Katherine Thompson, Kylie Presley, and Taylor Talley. And from Miss Black's Class, Izzy Krause, Kira Center, and Jemiya Rouse. Again, congratulations to all you for um, your Six Flags reading. And um, the next group I'd like to recognize are the morning news crews. And they are for this year, Briley Robinson, Chance Adams, Snyder Salazar, Jemiah Rouse, Emmy Sims, Maddie Fagan, Angel Kiki, Autumn Carden, Rylan Forer, Esteban Izaquita, Kylie Presley, Leslie Hernandez, Brayden Langston, Devin Donner, uh, Raven Hazard, Haley Murphy, Avery Delerme, Arthur Slavic, Catherine Thompson, and Xander Hughes. At this time, I'd like to turn it over to Ms. Garrison for our next awards. Hey, fifth grade, I'm going to be announcing our TV Tribe Award uh, Awards and then our Flag Tribe Awards. So our Technology TV Tribe, those are boys and girls who every morning help turn on the TVs. Every afternoon they um, were able to turn off the TVs for us and then any other technology things that Miss Karen needed in the media center. So those boys and girls are from Miss Armin's class, Arthur Slavic, from Miss Best class, Bailey Cook, Miss Black's class, Brayden Langston, and Miss Frazier's class, Naomi Rodellas. And then our flag tribe, those boys and girls took care of our flag daily. They were able to go out in the mornings and raise our flags. In the afternoon, they took care of uh, making sure that our flags were taken down. From Miss Armin's class, Tamar Mon Premier, Miss Best class, Gabriel Lamb, Miss Black's class, Avery Delarmy, and Miss Frazier's class, Chance Adams. Congratulations, boys and girls, and thank you so much for your help. Now stay tuned for messages from your classroom teachers. Hey, Miss Armin's class, I just wanted to say congratulations for the completion of fifth grade and let you know how proud I am of each and every one of you. Um, I know graduation looks a little different this year, but we're all learning as we go. So the first thing I'd like to do is recognize each and every one of you that were in my homeroom this year. And so I'll list everybody's name and congratulations to you all. 
So in our homeroom this year, we had Owen, Christian, Alicia, Maya, Autumn, Victoria, Stephen, Jalen, Jaden G, Zayden, Leslie, Riley, Cam, Mackenzie, Gabby, Jake, Joel, Tamar, Gwen, Jelena, Avery, Olivia, Corelli, Arthur, and Jaden W. You all worked very hard this year and I'm very proud of you. The next thing I like to do is just read a few words that I wrote that I like for you to listen to and know that I mean each and every one of these things. And I want to start out by saying I just love being your teacher. Um, I love you all with all my heart. You are incredibly special to me. You all are the reason I am a teacher. Your bright smiles and your big hugs each day mean more to me than I could ever say. Um, it's been an amazing year watching you all learn and grow. Um, you always tried your best and made me proud. And you often made me laugh out loud. I'll always remember your stories, your reactions when I told my stories, of course, your comments about Luke Bryan, your TikTok dances, your laughter, your jokes, your out of the box thinking, the look you would give me when you suddenly understood something new, your amazing questions, your desire to be the best that you could be. I will miss our time together, but the memories we have will always last forever. The year has come and gone so quickly. I can't believe how our year ended. I sure wish I would have known on that day of March the 13th. That, that would have been the last day that I would see you all in class. With that being said, we all have many stories to share as the coronavirus pandemic becomes part of our history. I am so excited for your futures and I want nothing but the best for each and every one of you. I know that each and every one of you will go on and succeed in anything that you put your minds to. I don't doubt that at all. I want you to always be your best. And I want you to remember to always work hard and never give up. I want you to have an awesome summer. And then I want you to go rock middle school because I know that you all will. I'll never forget you. Please remember where I'm at at good old Flory Ranch Elementary and come visit me when you can. Know that you'll always have a special uh, place in my heart and that if you ever need me for anything, I'll always be there for you. Congratulations, Ms. Armand's class, class of 2020. You did a good job. Hello, Ms. Black's class. I just want you to know how proud I am of you for completing the fifth grade this 2019-2020 school year. I would like to recognize everyone in my homeroom for a job well done. Tyler, Roxanne, Dominic, Avery, Jaden, Madison F, Miles, Noah, Anderson, Izzy, Braden, Casey, Ridge, Cameron, Madison P, EJ, Gio, Briley, Jemiah, Kira, Brody, Cooper, Jackson, and Justin. Who could have imagined our year would end up like this? It started off in a hot August. We wondered if we would even get through the month. Several days were spent inside because the temperatures were too high to venture outside. September, we got into a groove. We learned tribe, thoughtful, respectful, in control, being responsible and engaged. If the ex expectations of tribe were not met. You learned about the notebook and the consequences that went with signing it. You also learned about the sticker chart and the rewards that were available to you once that sticker chart was filled. You learned that Miss Black loves Disney and math, and there's always a method to the madness and to not to sweat the small stuff, to do the things that matter the most, like follow tribe. October, November, December came with the excitement of the holidays upon us. Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. As you know, school is pretty exciting around this time of year. Teachers are in good spirits and there's always fun activities to look forward to each day. We talked about character and doing the right thing, even when no one else is watching. What's your character like today? We came back to school in January, still dragging a little, but ready to hit the ground running. We continued in our 4-H meetings. 
We learned to give presentations to our class, even though we were very nervous. Advance started and Officer Davison taught you how to stay safe in this crazy world we live in. February came with the hopes of snow, but the only snow we got was on a Saturday, every kid's nightmare. Why couldn't it have been at least on a Sunday so we could get out at least one day, but little did we know that March 13th, 2020 was the last day we would know school as normal. So what do I want you to take from this school year? I want you to find a love for learning, be kind to others, and show good character. Always know and remember that Ms. Black loves you. I'm your teacher. No matter what you do, I will always love you and be there for you. Congratulations to the fifth grade class of 2019-2020 of Flowery Branch Elementary. Hello everyone, my name is Miss Bess and I am proud of each and every one of you. Today we will be celebrating our students for all their hard work this year. I would like to recognize everyone in my homeroom for their accomplishment of completing the fifth grade. Reed, Bailey, Aiden, Josemary, Savannah, Noah, Logan, Raven, Malachi, Kayla, Mason, Gabriel, Daniel, Tucker, Colin, Jay, Angel, Kylie, Talon, Jasmine, Malin, Taylor, Catherine, and Darren. Wow, you did it. Congratulations, Miss Best Class. This year hasn't been an easy one or anything we could have imagined, but I'm so proud of each of you. I have enjoyed watching you grow and become even better learners. I wanted to say that I will miss our times together, learning and being ourselves. I wish I could have known that March day would have been our last, so I could tell you all how much you mean to me. I will certainly miss your smiles, the moment when you have that light bulb go off in your brain, seeing you work with others, your good mornings to me, your sweet hugs, your goofy outbursts, your uncontrollable laughter, showing that we are the tribe, teaching me TikTok moves, and so much more. I hope this year has taught you to be the best you can be, no pun intended. Of course, you can always come back to see me at Fly Ranch Elementary School. I will be there with a smile and a hug for you. Congratulations. I love you all, and I know you will be amazing at middle school. Hello, Ms. Frazier's class. I just want to say congratulations on earning your completion of fifth grade certificate. You have done a great job this year, and I am so proud of you. The following students have completed their final year of elementary school. Chance, Fatima, Lily, Luke, Rocco, Riley, Isabella, Sebastian, Hannah, Devin, Emily, Rylan, Tegan, Xander, Esteban, Julian, Cole, Haley, Joanna, Naomi, Stone, Snyder, Emmy, Cohen, and Gabe. Now I just want to share a few words to my fifth grade class. I can't even begin to say how proud I am of each and every one of you. You have kept the best attitude throughout this whole ordeal, and you have never once complained. You made each other laugh during a time when a lot of people were experiencing fear. I don't think I will ever cough or sneeze again without hearing your little voices make a joke about it. Knowing that you use laughter to get you through such a unique experience reassures me that you will conquer whatever challenges you face in the future with courage, determination, and a few laughs along the way. We may have missed out on the fun activities that come at the end of a school year, but looking back, I know we made some of the best memories that we can all treasure for years to come. One of my favorite memories was the game we played often after so much rain this school year. The game was called Dodge the Mud Puddles on the Playground. Sometimes we called it it's too wet to run outside today. Let's try to stay dry. Some of us played the game well and some not so much. 
I will always giggle when thinking about the kiddos who lost to the mud. Even those that fell did so with a smile on their face and they made the best out of a soggy situation. Another favorite memory that I will always smile on is the minute to win it games we played at our winter party. Who knew all of you were so competitive? I remember laughing so hard at the sheer look of determination on each of your faces. The snowman challenge will always be my favorite. Who knew then that toilet paper would be so hard to find later in the year? Because boy, did we use a lot of toilet paper to make our friends snowmen in our classroom that day. My favorite thing to reflect on about our class is each person's kindness. Our class became a family that everyone was a part of. You all got along so well and you were all there for one another. Your hearts made me overwhelmingly proud as you took opportunities to lift one another up and show love to one another. You knew just what to say or what to do when someone needed you. You showed just how much you truly cared about all of the kids in our classroom. And I know you will take that same kindness with you to middle school. As I think about your future, I know each of you will do well. You all have a very special gift to share with the world. And I am so glad you shared it with me this year. I love each and every one of you. I am proud of all of you. You are truly one of the most special classes I've ever taught. And I'm so blessed that I was your teacher. You will always be one of my school kids. And I know you will love middle school. And the middle school is going to love you. I want you guys to come back and visit me often. And every time I see you, I will be so excited. Congratulations, class of 2020. Fifth graders, when we began this year, I told you that I had high expectations for you. I told you that you were the leaders in our school, and I knew you could handle the job. I'm proud to say that you have lived up to my expectations and the title of leaders. Our year ended differently than we had planned. Our end-of-year special events were canceled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. But you guys didn't let that stop you from working hard and finishing the year strong. I'm not surprised by your perseverance. As we close our year, I want you to remember the people who have supported you, not only this year, but in years gone by. Your parents, your family members, your friends, and your teachers. Take time today, and as you close out this year, to thank them for all they've done for you. Before I send you off to middle school, I'd like to leave you with a little advice. This advice is based on your ABCs that you learned in kindergarten. A is ambitious. Set high goals for yourself. B, brilliant. Show others what you know. C, compassionate. Look for ways to serve others. D, diligent. Work hard towards your goals one step at a time. Engaged. Be an active learner and get involved. F, have some fun as you work towards your goals. G, Good. Make good choices. H. Humble. Remember that no one person has all the answers. I. Impressive. Don't be afraid to showcase your strengths. J. Joyful. Smile at people. No one likes a sour face. K. Be kind. Find ways to help others. L. Learn. Be a lifelong learner. M. Motivated. Don't give up on your goals when they seem out of reach. N, nice. If you can't say something nice or do something nice, then don't say or do anything at all. O, original. There's only one you, so be that. P, problem solver. Look at problems and issues in creative and different ways to find solutions. Q, questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions when you don't know the answers. R, respectful. Honor and respect those in authority over you. S, spontaneous. Do something out of the ordinary from time to time. T, thankful. Find and name one thing you were thankful for each day. U, unique. Remember, you are special. V, vocal. Stand up for what you believe. W, wise. Think before you act. X, excellent. Always strive for excellence. You can achieve it. Why? Yourself. You can't be anyone any better. Z. Zealous. Live life in a bold way. Go after your dreams. 
In conclusion, remember that we believe in each one of you and support you as you head into the next chapter of your life. As your principal, I want to say I love you, I'm proud of you, and I'm here for you. Now, this time I want to present our fifth grade picture. This is our fifth grade class picture that we'll hang in the hallway to remind us of this special group of fifth graders and their time at Flowery Branch in our tribe. Congratulations, fifth graders. Best of luck next year.